Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about auto hotkeys and groups. Groups are great because they, in the long run, can save you a lot of work, and it just looks cleaner, and a lot less lines of code, for sure. So we'll talk about that, and you'll see uh, it actually here in a second. So let's take a look at that code, shall we? All right. So let's say I want to create some hotkeys that only work in my browsers. Well, I have a bunch of browsers on my computer. I want it to work across all browsers, but only my browsers. So we could do something like this. If when activate, you know, AHK, we're saying we're looking for an executable. Um, you know, there's different things you can do here. You can change it to like PID for process ID. Uh, there's a few other things you can do, uh, but we're going to keep it simple with the executable and we're going to be looking at chrome.exe. So Chrome. So if the window Chrome is active, I want my right button and my wheel button or wheel up to send control page down. And then I want wheel down to do control page up. All right? Simple. So these hotkeys will only work when Chrome is the active window. If I'm in something else like paint or notepad, the normal functionality of these would be there. Uh, it wouldn't do these send commands. Well, I have multiple browsers. I want it to work in all of them, but only in my browsers. So here I am sitting here going, okay, here's one for Chrome. Here's one for Firefox. Firefox. Can't talk today. MS Edge. Also, uh, sorry if I look very shiny today. I have a new complete setup in my living room, so I'm still kind of playing around with the lighting. We'll get there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is for three browsers. Obviously, there's a lot of other browsers out there you might have, you know, even like Internet Explorer, if you're still using that for some odd freaking reason. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, to each his own, I guess. Um, so, I mean, right here, you see, this is about 15 lines of code. I mean, getting rid of these spaces, it's more like 13 lines of code or 12 lines of code. And that's just for three browsers. You know, if I were to add you know, multiple other browsers, you know, the code's going to go over 20 lines of code just because I'm creating all these hotkeys. So groups really helps to condense this. It makes it look more organized with way less code. So let's look as we scroll down here. And here we go. Now we have our groups. So look how just cleaner this code looks. Now, as you see, I got Chrome, Firefox, and MS Edge, which I had up there, but I also added Brave, and I, so I added a few more bra uh, browsers, basically. So I got five total. So this code, would, it, if I had completed this to match what's been below, would be even longer. It'd be over 20 lines of code. I mean, it'd probably be around, I don't know, I'm just kind of math off my head, 25, 30 lines of code. Where this is only nine lines of code, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I got that right. <laughs> nine lines of code. That's way better than, you know, 30 lines of code, especially if you're adding even more browsers that I maybe haven't listed here. Like, I don't have Internet Explorer here, or, you know, whatever. Or maybe you just even want this to run in multiple programs also besides just your browsers. Maybe you have something that's like a browser and you want it to have that same functionality. Now, this is going to save you a lot of work, it looks cleaner, less lines of code. Code, Like I said, I can't talk today. Um, so yeah, let's break this down on exactly uh, how we're going to do this. So let me separate this. So here's where we're creating kind of our group. So we got group add. We want to add an executable. And this is kind of like our variable. This is what we're calling our group. So we're just calling it browser. Obviously, you can change this right here to whatever you want. If you're using this for like video video editing, you could make this say video editing group. You know, it's whatever you want to name it, whatever suits your needs, something easy for you, change it to whatever you want. Browser, very simple. I mean, I could put an S at the end to say browsers, but if you do make this change, so for example, let's say I'm going to call it browsers instead. Just make sure that down here where the win active is, that you also make it match. All these need to match. 
Now you can obviously create two groups if for some reason you want different functionality between two groups. You can, you know, make as many groups as you want as long as they're named differently. So you could do like browser set one, browser set two. You know, you want different functionality between these half of these browsers and a different functionality between these half of the browsers. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, what we're going to do here is we're then going to say hk underscore exe because the way we're doing this is we're adding by the executable. There are different ones you can use here. Uh, you could use like hk underscore pid for process ID. Uh, but I definitely recommend sticking with exe. It's the simplest. It's the most reliable uh, for sure because stuff other some of the other ones can change every time you restart your computer or the program. So you probably want to stick with this if you can. Now, as you see, because there is only one chrome.exe on my computer, I do not need a pathway. But for some reason, if this will not work, where you just put the Chrome extension here or whatever program, you might have to put the pathway here, you know, like C drive slash user slash, you know, program file or whatever, wherever it's at. So you might have to put it in here just so you're showing. Hopefully not because this just looks so nice not having to have that full path there. I like this a lot. Um, so, yeah. So here we go. Basically, same thing all the way down. Just, you know, all I'm doing is changing the name of uh, my browser. Chrome, Firefox, MS Edge, Brave, Opera. Uh, so as you see, like MS Edge, these are all pretty simple. Um, just make sure that the name is correct. You know, I know a lot of people might sit there and think like, oh, edge.exe will not work. You need MS Edge in there. And in case you don't know, that means Microsoft. Um, so yeah, just uh, check where the executable is. You know, search your computer for where the location is. Or if you have a shortcut on your desktop, you can right-click and uh, view the original folder that it's in if you need to get the actual name if it's not working for some reason. And obviously, make sure you put the extension at the end, you know, .exe, .txt, you know, whatever you're adding to your group. Depends on what you're doing, what your goal is here. But all our goal is here is to make hotkeys that only work within these five programs. And we're basically doing the same thing we did at the top. As you see up here, we're doing AHK underscore EXE. So all we're doing here is changing it to group instead. So we're saying, look at all these EXEs instead, or whatever they are. And then just, uh, you know, what's the name of the group? Browsers. Right there. Like I said, make sure it matches. And that's ba and then make sure you close it off, you know, wherever you want your code to stop working outside of the program. Just put if, when active, and that just closes off this. So anything in between those two will only work in these five programs. Uh, as far as uh, groups go, you can add as much as you want. If you want to add 100 programs, go for it at that point honestly if you're adding more than 100 programs or honestly more than x amount you might actually want to go in reverse and do it the other way kind of flip-flop there instead of saying work in all these programs how about you just don't work in this program um you know so that's always a possibility to remember so you can always add program or groups that basically are saying like hey if this group is running stop all this other code you know that might be a simpler approach if you're going to be trying to add a crap load of programs to a group a group it honestly might be easier to go the other way just so you know you can go both ways on there um, so yeah if you guys have any questions about this uh definitely ask in the comments below if uh you can think of some way for me to do a follow-up to get more in depth in this definitely let me know um yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this. If I miss anything, once again, let me know in the comments below. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Throwing out usually about two videos out to you every single week. Usually having to do with auto hotkeys and automation. And if it doesn't have to do with auto hotkeys, it's still going to have to do with automation. So if that's for you, hit that sub, hit that bell. And I will see you all on the next one.